So Matt, did you find this block of training beneficial to your group? Yeah, absolutely. Not even just for my team, but even for myself. I learned a ton. I also learned a lot about my team, uh, their strengths, their weaknesses, where they can improve upon. Um, the drills and the stuff that you guys put them through, I was able to observe and see how my team interacted, uh, see their strengths, see their weaknesses, see their lack of communication, see even their engagement, see their effort. Um, and the, the coolest thing that I think I took away from it for, for my team is you guys really harped on attitude and effort. And those are the two things that your team is 100% in control of. And you guys have a way of like communicating in a way that you're like, shit, I need to do better. Like I can do better, I need to do better, not only for myself, but for this entire business to, to succeed. I need to improve my attitude, I need to improve my effort. I know I can give more every single day. And you guys really harped in a way that was super positive, but it was a way that like you just instantly get it and you're like, I need to do better, I'm gonna go home tomorrow and I'm gonna work harder. And I love that, and that's why we do that 90 day self-evaluation drill where they take a picture of themselves and they have to grade themselves on their four F-bombs because the next 90 days, it's gonna be a roller coaster and you're gonna love it because you're gonna watch people that are gonna skyrocket. You saw I got a testimonial from someone today. What's so great about what Steve and I have created is we are changing people's lives, both on the business field, the battlefield, whatever that may be, and on the home field. So yeah. thank you so much, sir, for having us. We definitely appreciate it. How do you, how do you feel this is gonna benefit your team, not just tomorrow, but down the line? six months from now, a year from now, 90, just down the line from tomorrow and on. How do you feel it's gonna benefit them? I think one of the, the biggest things is their standards and expectations of themselves are gonna change, and it's gonna affect every area of their life, right? So uh, the stuff that you guys talked about wasn't just, hey, do better at work, right? It was do better in every single aspect of your life, be a better teammate, and that's gonna resonate into uh, doing better for our clients, and that's gonna mean doing better for our business as well. So. You guys do a great job of combining life, taking care of yourself, how you need to attack life, not just doing life, but how do you actually attack life? How do you, like from the moment you wake up to you end your day, how do you attack life? How do you manage the, the mental roller coaster that you can go through in every single day? Because we're in the people business and it, it can be a mental, emotional roller coaster. And you guys talked about like strategies, not just theory, but legitimate strategies of how do you navigate your everyday life and get into the state of optimal performance so that when you walk in through the doors of work every single day, that you're actually coming and being your best. So kind of piggybacking off of that, how do you see this as an investment? Like this isn't some marketing campaign that's going to sell you a bunch of memberships tomorrow or even in two weeks. How do you see this as an investment, a return on your investment? So I think one of the most important things in, in a business is actual it's culture. And I definitely think this is gonna make a cultural shift inside of our entire business that's gonna pay dividends way down the road uh, forever. Like the, the things that you guys taught today are lessons that I know people in our team are gonna carry with them for the next 10, 20 years, and even to their deathbed, um, that they're gonna be thankful that they had this training today. That's awesome, like a, like a force multiplier almost, as we call it in the military, and, it, and spreading out then to their teams and everyone they encounter, so that's gonna be awesome. The return on investment, may not come tomorrow like some massive marketing strategy, but down the line, it's gonna be 100 times the investment. 100%, we have 5,000 clients that, that walk through our doors every single day, and by them being better leaders of themselves, they're gonna be better leaders of those 5,000 people, and they're gonna be able to actually impart the lessons that you imparted on us, on our clients, to improve their lives every single day, which then is gonna be a force multiplier to their family. Their kids, their family, their, their neighbors, work. their friends, their parents, I just think it just, it just spreads out like a, like a virus of positivity and kicking ass. Yes. So I have a question. So as an entrepreneur, you're a very successful entrepreneur. You own seven franchises and you're, you're growing fast. What made you decide to use us? What did you see that, you know, and what would you pass on to other entrepreneurs and business owners, um, what your vision was and why you brought us in? Yeah. So obviously I know you guys, I've, I've seen what you guys are capable of doing and you guys deliver in a way that no one else delivers it, that um, yes, you guys seem intimidating, but you guys deliver a message that makes people get it, makes them want to be more. And sometimes hearing it from an outside voice is incredibly important because you're gonna say it differently, right? You're gonna have a different energy, you're gonna have a different perspective, um, and people are gonna hear it differently. Um, and then they're gonna actually take action. And I think one of the coolest things with you guys is 
the way you deliver a message, people can't help but be better and take action. Um, and that's why I wanted you guys to come here. It is an investment. Um, there isn't gonna be, it's not a marketing campaign where, hey, you spend X amount of money and then tomorrow your, your bank account's gonna be better. But when I have 60 plus employees coming in every day with better attitude, better effort, and showing up in a different way, that can't help but produce a better product and that can't help but produce more revenue inside of our business. Awesome, so from what we went over today with your team, what do you see as the critical factor from this actually benefiting them from tomorrow on? Because obviously Ray and I can't be here tomorrow and every day, so what do you see as a critical factor that needs to happen for this to really have the long-term effect you're looking for? I think uh, to have the long-term effect that we're looking for is that it's something that we need to continuously be messaging to our team and reminding them of the lessons that you taught us. Um, so it can't just be you guys come in and do this. It's got to be reminders and messaging the things that you guys said on a daily basis. But even being able to have the teammates now feel empowered, and that's the cool thing that you guys did, is the teammates now feel empowered to be able to, when somebody's not living out a core value or they don't have the right attitude, the right effort, they now actually feel empowered that they can actually call out that teammate and say, hey, like you're not living out the core value or you're not bringing it today. And that was one of the things that you guys instilled too, was like, hey, if someone's not doing what they're supposed to be doing, you have the ability to call them out and, and expect more out of your teammates, right? So it's not even just expecting more of yourself, but expecting more out of every single teammate. And that is gonna be another force multiplier inside of a business as well. So it sounds like the critical factor is not them just taking the theory and the information and putting it up on a shelf because yeah. we read books and they don't implement it, right? So they need to take that theory and actually implement it like starting tomorrow when they walk through that door. And you guys gave them actionable steps to actually implement. They have homework, they have things that they're gonna work on. And, and they're gonna go home and, and think critically of, okay, where am I, where's my weaknesses? Where am I dropping the ball? Um, how can I show up better for work for my teammates? And why am I showing up? The last exercise you did is, why are you gonna be this person? Like, why are you showing up? Who are you responsible to on a daily basis? And I think that's super impactful. Most of our team is, you know, the average age is like 25. And these are things that maybe they haven't been taught before, right? And they haven't thought this way. And now you guys have given them the blessing of thinking in a different way. And when you start thinking in a different way, it changes every single aspect of their life. And, and you guys are, I would say, mental freaks in, in a positive way. You guys just think differently. And if I can get them to think a quarter of the way that you guys attack life and think through life, like our business is gonna succeed um, dramatically after that. Yeah, just think if they start implementing this on a daily basis and you give them those, because they're gonna need those reminders, yeah. right? Think of where the, the short improvement that they had today within just you know four or five hours. Yep. Just imagine if that continual reminders and implementation, the improvements they're gonna have over the next month, two months, six months, year, to the next location. Like they were they showed tremendous improvement today within just a few hours. Like they start started off a little rocky, a little shaky in the yep. beginning, and it start they start to click. They start like, all right, I get it, I get it, and I want it. And I have the ability to do it, and I have the ability to, to perform the way that you know, towards the high standards and expectations. And I think what you guys did too was a blessing of permission to be the person that they're capable of being, the person they want to be, um, and being the best version of themselves. You call it the beast. Um, and being the hero of their life. I think one of the cool things that you guys did was you gave them the ability and the permission and empowered them that you are capable of being that person. You just gotta go freaking go and get it. Exactly. Which I thought was freaking awesome. Awesome. Thanks for having us. This is freaking awesome. It was an yeah. honor to be awesome here. Awesome team. Thank you. You're welcome.